The dictionary definition of a leader is a person who leads or commands a group, organization, or country. Our definition of a leader is inspiring and mature, responsible and courageous, considerate and respectful. Most leaders are male figures, but women made a strong impact as well. Three women by the names of Edith Hearn Fawcett, Clara Barton, and Elizabeth Thorne are examples of strong women leaders in our history. Edith was respectful to everyone she met. She was responsible and always ready to lead people in the kitchen. She had to be knowledgeable about what she was cooking with. Clara Barton was a very resourceful woman who was very passionate about what she did. Clara was very generous and always willing to help whether people liked that idea or not. Elizabeth was brave as well for having part of the battle in the cemetery. She was mature and strong, which are just a few elements she had as an independent female leader. Edith Hearn Fawcett was born a slave at Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's home. In 1802, when Edith was 15, Thomas Jefferson wanted her to train to become a White House chef and prepare his meals for him while he was president. While she was there, Edith trained with one of George Washington's former cooks, Honoré Julian. Although Edith worked very hard, she wasn't paid. Instead, she got a monthly gratuity, or tip, of $2 while she was there. In 1809, Thomas Jefferson retired and brought her home with him. She then became head cook at Monticello. After Jefferson died, only her husband was freed in his will. Later on, her husband managed to free Edith and their five children. Clara Barton worked as many things and was an amazing woman. When the Civil War started, she was one of the first to volunteer to help in the Washington Infirmary to care for the wounded. She went out to nurse soldiers on the field at the Battle of Antietam. At Antietam and many battles throughout the war, Clara taught people first aid, carried water, cooked meals, and even paid for medical supplies with her own money. She went on to do many other things, being most famous for creating the American Red Cross. Elizabeth Thorne was a remarkable woman. She immigrated from Germany to America with her fiancé, Peter Thorne, who married on September 1, 1855. Peter was the caretaker of a cemetery, burying the bodies of dead people. When Peter enlisted in the 138th Pennsylvania Infantry, the job of being caretaker was passed to Elizabeth, who was six months pregnant at the time. On top of being pregnant, Elizabeth had to take care of three sons and her parents. She ended up burying 91 soldiers during the war, although some people say 103 to 105 people were buried by her. Her expectant baby was born, but never completely healthy, and died at the age of 14. A memorial was placed in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, a statue of her, and it represents all the hard work she put into her job. Leadership is putting others before yourself. Leadership is helping others expand their knowledge. Leadership is wanting to help. Leadership is those traits as well as many other things. Thank you for watching our film and what leadership means to us. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Ow! Ow, that hurt. <laughs>